In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the linear algebra topic AX equals zero, or the homogeneous solution to a system of linear equations. So what does it mean for a system to be homogeneous? It means it can be written in the form AX equals zero, where A is an M by M matrix and zero is just the zero vector. How many solutions does AX equals zero have? At least one solution, and it's usually just X equals zero. Now, what is a trivial solution? solution and a non-trivial solution. Well, the trivial solution is the most common one, x equals zero. The non-trivial solution is any non-zero solution to ax equals zero, which means that x is not the zero vector, but ax still equals zero. And this occurs if there's a free variable. Now here's an example. So first let's write this in an augmented matrix form and then use Gaussian elimination. Now once we reduce this using Gaussian elimination, we'll be left with this matrix. And as you can see right here, we'd be left with zero equals zero. So now we're gonna have infinite, an infinite amount of solutions. And looking at our pivot columns, the first and second columns have pivot positions, but the third one doesn't. So we're gonna have a free variable here. And now we can call this column x1, second column x2, and the third column x3. So our free, var free variable is going to be x3. And so we can write these equations as x1 plus 0x2 minus x3 equals 0. 0x1 zero plus 0x2 minus x3 equals zero. And we can ignore the last one because it's just a row of zeros. And so these are going to turn into x1 equals x3 and x2 equals x3. So now writing our solution in parametric form, we say that x, the x and ax equals zero is x1, x2, x3, that vector but we know what x1 and x2 are. And so we can rewrite this as x3, x3, and x3 is just x3. And then we can factor out an x3, and we get the vector one, one, one. So ax equals zero will always be true when x3 is any scalar of the one, one, one vector.